tells us that a person who needs to use the restroom is not allowed to pray any of the tefillot, amida. And if he prays a tefillah, tefillato toeva, his prayer is an abomination, it's not accepted. But then the Gemara says, and how long can he hold it, he could pray? The Gemara says, if he holds it, parsa. He can go and hold it, parsa, which is a certain distance, which the Akronim explained, it's the amount of time it takes to walk this distance is around 72 minutes. If a person could hold it in for 72 minutes, then he could, then he could pray the Gemara says. So the Gemara is a really funny Gemara. It says you can't pray if you need to go to the bathroom. And it's if you do, it's a toeva, abomination. And then it says, if you could hold it for 72 minutes, you could pray. So which one is it? Do you not allow or you're allowed? So Rashi says that you're not allowed to pray. If you can't hold it for 72 minutes, you can't pray. And if you can't hold it for 72 minutes and you pray, your prayer doesn't count. But if you can hold it for 72 minutes, then you're allowed to pray even in Chachila. The Rosh argues. The Rosh says, no. Even if you can hold it for 72 minutes, in Chachila you shouldn't pray. And only B'diavad, even if you can hold it for 72 minutes, even over there, B'diavad, if you pray, it counts as a prayer. And that's what Shukhar writes, Siman Tzadibet. If a person, even if he can hold himself for 72 minutes, still in Chachila, he should still go to the bathroom before he goes to pray. And that's why the Mishnah Bura writes in the beginning of Simanim, he writes in Siman Aleph, in the beginning of the Shukhan Ruch, he says a person should wake up early. That way he gives himself time, because sometimes he needs to go to the bathroom. He needs to go and take care of himself and his needs before he goes to pray. So you need to calculate this in the timing of when you come to wake up and when you go to shul. That way a person can come to pray. If a person says, okay, I, I feel okay, I don't need to go right now. But still, it's not the Chachil to pray like that. The Chachil, you should still make enough time to go and take care of your needs, and then go to, and then go to pray. The Gemara Sechah Brachot tells us also that what is the complete accepting of Olmo Chuchamayim? The person gets up, how is he going to accept Hashem's kingdom, his yoke of heaven properly? He washes his hands, he goes to the bathroom, the Gemara says, he makes sure he has a clean body, he puts on tefillin, he says the Shema, he prays. That's a complete accepting of Hashem as the, as, as the king. So you see, part of accepting Hashem as king is making sure you have no distractions, nothing to bother you, and that includes going to the bathroom. There's a Midrash that says about Yossi ben Halakta, who was uh, one of the students of Rabbi Kiba. Rabbi Kiba lost all his 24,000 students, and then he got five new students. Rabbi Shem Bayuchai, Rabbi Balanes. One of them was Rabbi Yossi Bar Halafta. So one time a Roman noble, noble woman came to him, and she said to him, in the Torah it says that Hashem created the world in six days. What is he doing the rest of the time, since those six days? What is he doing all this time now? Well, what is he busy with? He said to her, you should know, he's Mizavik Zivugin. He's, ma- he's matchmaking. Husbands and wives, he's matchmaking Shiduchim. So she said to him, oh, what is this kind of joke? Because Baruch Hu Hashem, God Almighty has to be busy making matchmaking. That's a joke. I could do this. She said, he said to her, yeah, let's see. So she took all the ma- all the slaves and the maidservants she had in her palace. And she started making zivugim, shiduch. This one to this one, this one to this one. He said, you want to work for me? Yalla, this is your this is your shiduch. This is who you're going to marry now. The next day, they came. They saw one guy missing an eye. One guy a broken leg. One lady with scratches. He said, ah, Chiga, what happened to all of you? He said, oh, this wife you gave me, oh, this husband you gave me, oh, Shalom Bay, they, they couldn't get along. So the rabbi said to her, ah, you see, it's not so easy. She said, oh, God bless you, and God bless you, Kadosh Baruch Hu, and now I understand how beautiful and how amazing Kadosh Baruch Hu is. And what? He's Mesavik Zibugim till this day. We see how Kadosh Baruch Hu gives each person who he needs exactly, and he gets it in the right time, in the right place, in the right way. You see the, if you want to see the hand of Hashem in this world, just look at the Shiduchim, you see HaKadosh Baruch Hu is present.